Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Top traditional Polish foods and dishes to try when you are in Poland. Poland is geographically located in the very center of the European continent. As the midpoint of Europe, for centuries, Poland has served as a bridge between the East and West. It brought a whole cultural exchange, which included areas such as trade, religion, fashion, and cuisine. The varied gastronomic influences have contributed to the wealth of tastes and complexities of Polish food. Ready to take a tour of traditional food in Poland? You've got everything from your standard fare that's been eaten in Poland for generations to dishes that even molecular gastronomist Ferron Adria would applaud. On your next trip there, make sure you try some of the following food in Poland. Floki, tripe soup Although the name Floki might not be too appetizing, it literally means guts. Tripe soup has had quite a strong presence on Polish tables for centuries. The Polish tripe soup is one of the heartiest and spiciest dishes on the menu, where ginger, nutmeg, pepper, and marjoram are all used in large quantities. Flocky is widely considered a great remedy for hangovers. Sleds W. Smyrtony, herring in sour cream. Herrings are very popular in Poland at any time of the year. No wonder they made their way to the Christmas Eve table. The most popular preparations are classic herring fillets, matias, served in oil, or with cream, sour apples, and chopped onions, often accompanied with a potato salad. In the Great Lakes Mazur district, they have been served fried for centuries. Rosol, chicken soup Rosol is the most common soup served in Poland. It tastes best after church on a cold Sunday. It is very easy and quick to prepare, and commonly served with homemade noodles. The ingredients needed for the soup are water, any piece of chicken, onion, small leek, green celery, parsley, cabbage, salt, and pepper. Kizkaziemniezana, potato sausage Kizkaziemniezana is a savory dish made from grated potatoes, eggs, onions, and pieces of smoked, boiled or fried bacon. It is often oven baked in a crock. The potato sausage can be served as a separate dish or with sour cream and pork flitch. Klodnik, cold beetroot soup with sour cream Poland serves up some truly exceptional soups, and klodnik is a healthy choice. The soup is made with beets that are simmered until tender and usually blended with cucumber, radishes, and various milk products, such as yogurt, kefir, sour milk, or sour cream. Always served well chilled, klodnik is typically garnished with boiled eggs, dill, and chives. The soup is a common starter all over the country, especially in the spring. A psych, cheap's milk cheese cheese lovers need to delve into this pure culinary delight. A psych is a cheese made from sheep's milk, and is delicious eaten both cold or grilled. Hailing from high, the Polish Tatra Mountains, it is a trademark dish, often served grilled and accompanied with cranberry jam, also a Polish specialty. Golonka, pork hock golonka are actually the ankles of the pig, and when made the traditional way, the meat should be fork tender and literally fall off the bone. It's served with roast vegetables, boiled potatoes, and, of course, some sauerkraut. It's a simple meal, and since this part of the meat is quite inexpensive, it has been an affordable dish for the middle and lower class throughout the country's history. Case Zanka, blood sausage This is the Polish variation of blood sausage. In practice, it is pig's blood mixed with groats, and served fried with onions. Though sold in sausage casings, the casing itself is not meant to be eaten. A variation on the blood dish is zanina, a soup made of duck's blood mixed with poultry broth. Interestingly, this dish was served by a young woman's parents to a suitor if they rejected the marriage proposal. Smalik, large spread smalik is a very popular and traditional savory snack that goes great with a mug of beer or a shot of vodka. It is actually pure animal fat spread full of fried lard chunks, the more the better, served with hunks of homemade bread. Traditional Polish restaurants offer it as a free starter. 
Pampuchi, steamed dumplings Pampuchi also known as bulky napas, steamed rolls, are a kind of large, soft dumpling made from a yeast dough. After steaming, Pampuchi are dished up covered with savory or sweet sauce. They can be served as the main course with a stew and pickles or as a dessert with strawberry sauce, a very popular summer dish. Lini pierogi, lazy dumplings Lini pierogi are another kind of Polish dumpling. They are made from curd cheese, eggs, and flour and cooked slowly in slightly salted water. Lini pierogi are served with whipped cream, sugar, and cinnamon or spiced up with some butter and breadcrumbs. It is considered a dish that is quick to prepare, which is reflected by its name, lazy dumplings. Makawi ek, poppy seed cake. The poppy seed roll is one of Poland's most popular sweet foods. Makawiek is a strudel-esque, yeast-based cake. The filling is made of finely ground poppy seeds, honey, butter, raisins, and walnuts. The cake is then glazed with icing and finished with orange peel. A poppy, containing thousands of seeds in one head, is a symbol of harvest and fertility in the Christian tradition. Therefore, traditionally, Poles believed that eating poppy seed cake during the Easter and Christmas holidays would bring them luck in life. Grzybilen, Wild Mushrooms Mushrooming is a very popular family activity, so, unsurprisingly, whatever is collected in the forest is eaten. Wild mushrooms are served in many ways. You can have wild mushroom soup, a traditional Christmas Eve dish, with a drop of sour cream, wild mushroom sauce as a topping for a meaty main course, or as a filling for pierogi. In addition, during the summer months, Poles enjoy scrambled eggs with chanterelle mushrooms for breakfast, which is considered to be a top delight. Ogorki Kisdzone Pickled cucumber It can be said that most Poles are obsessed with perfectly picked cucumbers. It is literally the most common appetizer that accompanies every major occasion, they will always be found at family parties and dinners. Even in pubs offer pickled cucumbers as appetizers with alcohol. Poles are fond of a variety of sour delicacies, pickling all sort of pickleable vegetables such as onions, pepper, baby pumpkin, and many more. What's worth knowing is that pickles contain probiotics, which are extremely healthy for your digestive system, giving us even more reason to enjoy them. Karp's Mazzoni, fried carp Fried carp is a national food of Poland, though it is eaten only once a year, on Christmas Eve. Depending on local and family traditions, carp is fried with or without a coating. Although in western countries, carp is seen as an inedible fish, in Poland it is bred in special conditions, thanks to which it becomes a real delicacy. In addition, Poles believe that carp brings luck. If you put a scale from the carp into your wallet after your Christmas Eve meal, the following year, you will enjoy good luck. Karturks, potato dumplings These large, oval-shaped potato dumplings are traditionally filled with a combination of sautéed onions and ground meat, while some versions include mushrooms, sauerkraut, or cheese. They are believed to have been influenced by a similar Lithuanian dish that goes under the name Kepelinai. Karturks are usually served with sautéed onions and crispy bacon bits, and are typically enjoyed as a filling main course. Plakizium niaksin, potato pancakes The authentic Polish potato pancakes are a traditional comfort food eaten all over the country. Everyone has their own family recipe but the base is always potatoes, grated onions, eggs, and flour, flattened and fried into savory pancakes. They are often served with mushroom sauce or sour cream. This may be a starter, a main course accompanied by chopped meat or a simple dessert just sprinkled with white sugar. Tatar, raw minced beef. Tatar is essentially made up of all ingredients that are required to make a hamburger, except they are all served raw and unmixed. Once you have ordered this dish, you will receive a small pile of raw ground beef with an egg cracked over the top. Next to it, you will usually find raw onion, pickles, spices, and dill. Tatar is usually served as an appetizer and it may be accompanied by a shot of vodka. 
Barshed Chevorne, Red Beetroot Soup Barshed Chevorne, Red Beetroot Soup, is another truly intense tasting Polish soup that typifies the country's healthy food culture. It is typically made using a large amount of beetroots, combined with meat or bone stock and may include vegetables, such as cabbage, carrots, onions, and potatoes. Poles love a hot bowl of Barshed Chevorne on a cold winter's day, served with a dollop of sour cream on top and their favorite bread on the side. Turek, Sour Rice Soup Fermented flour for a soup? Yes, it is possible, in Poland. Turek is one of the most surprising, tasty, and old-fashioned soups in the country's cuisine. The soup is made with sour rye flour, sour rye is a naturally fermented liquid mixture of water, spices, and rye flour. The soup is served with an egg, mushrooms, white sausage, and potatoes. Sometimes restaurants offer it in a bread loaf. Turek is a traditional Polish Easter dish but can be eaten any day. Many believe that this outstanding combination of flavors and nutrition can actually cure hangovers. Golabki, cabbage rolls Golabki translates literally as little pigeons, although these cabbage rolls have nothing to do with birds at all. Typically, boiled cabbage leaves are wrapped around a filling of minced pork and rice. However, there are also other variations of fillings such as poultry and mutton, and others without meat. The rolls are then braised in stock. When laid on plates, a delicious dense homemade tomato sauce is poured over the golapki. Polish cabbage rolls are served with bread, sometimes with boiled potatoes. Beegus, Hunter's Stew Beegus, also known as Hunter's Stew, is a meaty dish and the epitome of Polish cuisine. This unique combination of sauerkraut, different meats, sausages, mushrooms, and spices cooked for hours, and sometimes even days, is very delicious and filling. This popular one-pot dish, once upon a time cooked over the fire and consisting of whatever the hunters brought home, is a meal in itself, best eaten alongside thick slices of crusty sourdough bread and butter. The recipe generally changes from house to house but it's very hearty and sometimes described as the Polish version of chili. In fact, metaphorically, bigus translates to big mess or confusion in Polish. Kotlet Shaboi, breaded and fried pork chop Probably Poland's finest and most popular main course is the almighty Kotlet Shaboi, served with mashed potatoes and pickled cabbage. You can walk into almost any restaurant in the country and be assured you will find it on the menu. This delicious, flattened and breaded pork chop, which is fried in lard or clarify butter, is quite similar to the Viennese schnitzel, and is a solid, filling, risk-free meal. If you don't like pork, try the chicken cutlet, made the same way. Pierogi, dumplings the most iconic Polish food of all time, pierogi needs little introduction. Polish dumplings are made of thinly rolled out dough filled with endless varieties of fillings, both savory and sweet, including, meat, sauerkraut, wild mushrooms, cheese, bilberries, blueberries or strawberries. Pierogi are boiled or fried and served steaming hot. The popularity of pierogi probably originates from the fact that this dish comes in so many flavors, easily fulfilling everyone's preference. In addition, they can be served as an appetizer, main dish or dessert. Undoubtedly, pierogi are Poland's finest culinary delight and one of the most recognizable Polish food. Instruction before each Czech food is halal or haram. To subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.